Hey everyone, it's Michael and Sam from Bullion Now and LittleCoinShop.com.au bringing you the best bullion bars, coins and numismatics shipped to you worldwide from Melbourne in Australia. How are you Sam? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Welcome to an unboxing. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is a, a little, coin shop, little coin shop unboxing. Um, so we've stolen some of their stuff and brought it over and Sam and I decided that we'd unbox it under camera, didn't we? Yes. Alrighty, so what do we got in here? Do you know? Yes. What is it? You tell us. It is a gilded two ounce kookaburra. It is. You're spot on correct. And this would have to be one of the ones, one of the two in this unboxing that I am hanging out for. Because it's an amazing, amazing uh, product that Perth Mint is now making and of course this one I'm not going to force this one We're going to get a different one mm, yeah. That one feels like it's going to take a little cooperation to get out so we'll take this one There we go We wanted a nice easy one to start off with didn't we? Yes Alrighty So limited to 2000 on these ones and there it is. That stunning piece. Yeah, a little bit of fluff come in from the from the Perth Mint there. So you can see here the two ounce coin. I'm just going to take it out of its outer case, obviously not its capsule. And you can see there this beautiful silver design, mirrored finish on the face, as um, as all these uh, this year's kookaburras are um, in the proof series. You can see that they've enhanced the detail of the kookaburra by gilding it. But they've now gone one step further by actually gilding the rim of the coin. And if I turn it on its side, not only can you see the chunkiness of, the, um, of a two ounce coin, because they use pretty much the same size coin, but because it's twice the weight, obviously it becomes twice the thickness. And by gilding this outside, it gives this, this incredible, incredible um, gold edging all the way through to the outside and even onto the uh, obverse side with the queen's face there so you can see this beautiful gold all the way around there and that gold coloring as you can tell on this one just brings that silver out it just makes it pop in the picture going back to the uh back to the um reverse side there you can see that because it's that two ounce um width it actually allows them to go concave, so it, it dips the coin in, and then it allows them to bring the detail out a little bit, so it gives it almost that three-dimensional feel. And it really does that, you'll see, on the coin side. So you can see there, even though it's, it's not much of a concave, you'll see later on we're going to open a five-ounce coin later on, and you'll see it really it dips in there and it's really concave. This only has a slight concave, but it's enough for them to give the depth so that the queen actually pops out and looks looks that three-dimensional image and with that like i said that gold around the outside that gold trim it just looks amazing so again a great one to get your sticky fingers on they're limited to 2000 and a lot of those went overseas so get them while you can yes that's your contribution to that one is it yes <laughs> <laughs> well said Alrighty, so there you go, Little Coin Shop's got a few of those in, so if you're interested in those, and I suggest it's a good one to be interested in, um, they actually have a few available. Alright, now we get into the other box, and this has got all sorts of exciting goodies in it. What do you reckon, just like Christmas? <laughs> That's the right terms, mate. Oh, wow. So let's start off with everyone's favourite, which is a wombat in a card. So it's a coloured wombat in card. So you can see there, I've actually um, got the normal silver coin, 
but they've um, brought the detail to the wombat by providing that colour. It's still encapsulated, it's put into this card, and then you'll see all the, all the burst on the back, all the information about the wombat and the coin itself. Now these are a very, again, these are a limited edition to two and a half thousand. Um, very popular series, the coining card, um, and a very beautiful coin. And this will coincide almost, almost, I think this will be up here just after, um, the bullion wombat one ounce silver will be released. And um, bullion now actually has the Australian um, uh, exclusive, joint exclusive with another company in Perth Mint. On, uh, on the bullion one. So if you've grabbed this one, see if you can grab the bullion one. If you've grabbed the bullion one, get this one to complete your set because it's a beautiful, it really is a beautiful coin, that one. It stands out really nicely. Ooh, All right. That's very cute. It is very cute. What do you reckon of these? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? All righty. So this is the Queen's... So we, did you know it was the uh, Queen's um, 90th this year? I didn't know it was her 90th. No. Actually, I'm completely wrong. It's not her 90th this year. She's well and truly over 90. But um, this is her Platinum Jubilee. So do you know what the Platinum Jubilee is? No. You don't. Okay, so that means she's been the ruler of the Commonwealth. Or it'll tell us on here on the coin. Mm. So can you see where it is? 1952 to 2022. So how many years is that? A 70? 70 years. Oh wow. <laughs> that, that, that's amazing. That is. That is the longest rule of any monarch in the world. So there you go. And your mum's going to laugh at me when she finds out I said that um, Queen Elizabeth was 90. <laughs> Which is obviously wrong. And then on the other side, and I love the, I love the um, obverse that they've done on these. So you've got Queen Elizabeth, the young one, Queen Elizabeth, the current one, um, and then this uh, floral arrangement around it. So I think the design they've done on the obverse is, is amazing with this one. It's so cool. That is. So there we go. That's the uh, that's the silver proof. I believe it's just the proof. Is it? Can you remember, Sam? No. <laughs> no, I can't either. Isn't that terrible? I should know that. Um, yeah, it's the silver proof. Now the pista resistance. Do you know what that means? Yes. What's it mean? I don't know the exact meaning, <laughs> but I know it means like the main, like coolest part. That's that's actually a very good explanation for it. So this is the five ounce infused coin. Wow. Now an infused coin is one that's been they actually cut the design into the coin. So rather. Like this one, the um, the design is actually yeah. popping out. This one's actually sunken in to the coin face itself. And the way they've done it is just amazing. Now, I'm actually going to take oh, it out of its cap, out of awesome. not its capsule, but its case. So this is a five ounce infused um, kookaburra. So you can see the five ounce by how chunky it is on the side. So. Um, the two ounce was nice and chunky, but this is really, really, really going out on steroids. And then because they've got such a deep coin, they're able to actually give it a really nice concave. So you, you've got that sunken effect, but they've also infused it. So they've actually cut the design into the face of the coin and actually given it that sunken appearance. And it's just an amazing effect on these. These are an incredibly limited coin. They're only doing 500 of them in total. And a lot of those went straight overseas. So the thing I love about this coin, I love the fact that they've frosted this side, um, like the face of this side. But I also love the fact that they have, again, they've done the concave on the obverse side with the queen there, but they've actually brought her out 
of the out of the picture. So instead of being in cues like it is on the on the face or on the reverse of the coin, on the obverse side they've actually made it that three dimensional um, pop out of the queen, and it just it. Being the mirrored finish, not the frosted finish, it just really makes it stand out. And it gives you two completely opposing portraits or pictures on the coin, one on each face. So it just becomes such a multifaceted coin with this mirror correction, this frosted finish on one side, the mirrored finish on the other, the thickness of the coin, it just gives it so much detail and it's just an incredibly beautiful coin. And it's so cool. It is so cool. So there you go. That is the unboxing. This is your first unboxing, isn't it? Yes. What did you think? Very awesome. <laughs> Very awesome. Alrighty. Now, if you're interested in any of these, um, and most of these, in fact, all of these, I think, pretty much, are very um, limited editions. If this is something that goes well in your collection, if it's something that floats your boat, um, grab them while you can, particularly a couple of them I don't think will last long. Um, go head over to littlecoinshop.com.au and uh, look on their website. If you're viewing this, it will have been listed on their website um, and should be available for sale there. Alright, Sam, the most important part of any unboxing that we do. Which one would you buy for fun? Which one are you going to buy for investment purposes? I'd buy the uh oh i can't remember the name of it now the kookaburra the yep. two ounce kookaburra yeah the two yep. ounce and then i it's a two ounce gilded kookaburra is that gilded. for fun or is that for that's for fun that look awesome yep i'd probably get the queen what uh, the queen's one the platinum jubilee yes for yep. investment purposes you reckon that one's going to go up, do you? Yes, mainly because it's respect and it's also very awesome. <laughs> well, I kind of agree and kind of disagree with you. So I would definitely grab... Oh, I'm stuck on this one. I would grab the two kookaburras and I think I would grab them both for fun but both for investment. I think, mm -hmm. I think the, what the Perth Mint is doing with their gilded designs now, where they're doing the reverse guild, the ring guild, and the, um, the rose guild. Um, and they're actually bringing out a pink guild later on this year, I believe. What they're doing with those is almost developing a cult following with it. And I think, I think they're gilding on these things where they're, they're trying these different guilds, I think will will really develop into the future and I think they're fun and they're beautiful designs. The five ounce though is just an incredible, yeah I reckon, I reckon I go the gilded for investment, I reckon the five ounce for fun, but I think it's got real potential to go up in value as well. Yes. But I think that design that they've done there with the with the five ounce with the chunkiness and the concave face um, and the incursion on one side and the bringing the, the queen's head out on the other. I think he's just, I think it's the bee's name. Mm. I really like gilded things. That's why I said gilded for fun. I love gilded coins. They're like my favourite coin. Cool. Alrighty. Thank you for joining us on this unboxing. Okay. <laughs> it was lots of fun. Good stuff. So that's it for now. Um, again, go over to littlecoinshop.com.au to, uh, to source any of these. Um, head over to bullionnow.com.au for all your bullion needs, and we will see you in a future unboxing. Yeah! That's it for now. See ya.